Ahoy, salty dogs! My name is Lenscap, and welcome to Avorion. Uh, this game has been recommended to me by tons and tons and tons of people, and uh, I decided I'd finally check it out. Actually, one of my patrons bought it for me, so... <laughs> um, but I decided I would check it out, and uh, I, I think this is going to be a great fit for our channel. It has all of the things in it uh, that we all enjoy. Um, space combat, building spaceships, piracy. Need I say more? Okay, so <laughs> let's hop right in. We're going to do the first little bit together. Um, I think probably what I'm going to do is let's create a new world. That was my test world. And let's call it Peg Leg because we're going to be super amazing pirates. We'll go, well, I'm just going to type some random things to make a seed. Let's leave collision on and we'll get started. All right, so it takes a couple moments for the universe to load up, and then we press spacebar to continue. And here we are. So this is, let's move away from the space station dock we are at. Now, this is our mining drone. Um, we start off with this. This is kind of like, kind of like your pod from EVE Online, if you've ever played that. So you can't destroy it. You can't really damage it. If you die and lose everything, uh, you still have this, uh, this mining drone. So it's, um, it's a little bit garbage, to be honest, but, uh, it is like the very first thing you start with. You kind of expect it to be slightly, kind of a little bit crappy at first. Um, what can we do with this? Well, we can gather a few simple resources from asteroids. Now, there's a lot of things going on in the HUD here, but we're not really going to talk about them until they become important to us. And then uh, as they become important, we can um, address them at that point. But one thing I do want to talk about, if we hit the P key, then that pulls up the information about our ship. You can see a bunch of, like, statistics over here. And uh, right here are the mining turrets that we have um, on the drone. Um, if you look at, I don't think I can point my mouse at it, but if you look, like, the second or third thing down, uh, you see is an efficiency rating. That's 14. That means we only get 14% of the total number of ores in whatever it is that we mine. So be it iron, which is what we start with, and then uh, you move on. As you get closer to the center of the galaxy, you get better and better resources to uh, to build your ship better. Um, we'll talk about the resources and the shipbuilding when we get to building a ship. But for now, just know uh, we're kind of collecting a little bit of iron so that we can... Um, get those things to build our ship. So as we shoot our our mining um, thing <laughs> ray uh, at this asteroid, we can kind of take chunks of it apart. And this is the same way it works with ships too. If you damage a ship, you take parts of the ship away, and uh, and they explode, and sometimes they drop loot. It depends on what they are. Um, I do want to show you guys this. This is a really cool asset or feature um, of this game. If I were to, let's say I mine out the core of this asteroid and leave like the two plates on the ends, this this bit and this bit. Um, let's say I leave those here and, uh, and I just mine out everything else around it. Um, let's actually do it. Hopefully this doesn't take too much time yet. Yeah, looks like we're, we're chewing through this thing pretty quickly. We may not have that great of an efficiency, but uh, at least we're not slow. Um, so we knocked that out, and as you can see, now the plates are moving. They are separate. So as we break things apart, they actually break, and they actually uh, drift toward each other. So that's really cool. Um, you can literally cut a spaceship in half <laughs> if you want to. That's that's amazing to me. Uh, after playing Star Maker for so long, uh, a space game where you cannot do that. Um, that's a pretty cool feature. So iron is like our primary asteroid that we get um, at the start here. Um, but I want to talk about a little bit about the controls while we're flying around and collecting some of these. Um, right now we're looking for these asteroids like... I'm targeting myself. Okay, like this one uh, that has some very obvious like gold veins in it. Or this one that has some obvious ore veins in it. Those are our, like, mineral-rich asteroids. Now, that's not to say that the other asteroids don't have things in them, but uh, but they're not 
as good of things. So uh, you you fly up to the asteroids and you can select them with your middle mouse button. You just kind of click on it, and uh, and that targets the whatever you're looking at. You can see my reticle is blue right now because I'm too far away from the asteroid to affect it. But as I get closer and closer, you can see that my reticle turns green. So green means I'm in firing range of something. Um, I want to talk about movement as well with the ships. Um, this is pretty interesting. Now, your ship, you move WASD to move around. So W moves you forward, S backwards, A strafes left, and D strafes right. And uh, if you're not actively accelerating, if you're not holding W, you, you slow down. Now, I know some people are going to be like, why are you slow down in space? That doesn't make any sense. So you don't slow down in space. That's not part of the, the game. The way the the flying system functions, though, is uh, similar to space engineers, right? Where you need thrusters on all sides to uh, to kind of adjust your velocity from those directions. Now, if you don't have thrusters facing the front of your ship, uh, facing, yeah, sure, sticking out of the front of your ship, you will not slow down. Uh, you will keep going. You'll have to, like, spin your ship around and face the opposite direction, and, uh, and slow down that way. So that's kind of a cool thing. Um, I think that's really cool. Starmate doesn't have directional thrust like that, and uh, so that's going to be a little bit of getting used to. Now this asteroid has titanium in it. So this is the second tier of material you can get, and it's more rare um, in the spawn areas of the galaxy, such as where we are. Um, so, uh, so we definitely want this. Now, titanium will benefit our ship in a couple of ways. Primarily, though, it's, it's lighter than iron. So that means we can build bigger components and, uh, and armor and stuff without it affecting our overall mass as much. Um, when thrusting, um, kind of back to movement, though, I got distracted by this beautiful titanium asteroid. Um, when, when thrusting, you can see there is a bar at the very top in the middle of the screen, um, right, right up here. And that is kind of my velocity indicator. So as I, as I'm still, it's, it's empty. As I move, you can see it turns blue, and that central bar lights up. So the central bar is kind of like my main thrusters, like how much power, uh, they are actually pushing out. So... I assume with bigger ships, I haven't gotten this far in the game, but I assume with bigger ships, you can vary the thrust um, in some way. Now, uh, the top the top bar, right? So it turns blue when we're moving toward our heading. If we turn away from our heading, it turns yellow. So uh, the, the, the more direct we are toward our heading, the more blue the line is. The farther away from our heading, um, or our, our direction of momentum, the... Uh, the more yellow it becomes. Okay, if we hit I for inventory, we can see we've got about 2,000 iron and about 500 titanium. I think this would be a pretty good opportunity to, for us to try and build our first ship. Now, I don't want to... Uh, let's actually grab this one more asteroid first. When we're building our ship, I don't necessarily want to just kind of um, hit B... And enter, found a ship, hit B, and enter build mode right here. I want to move closer to a station. Um, and the reason for that is we need to hire some crew. You can't uh, really fly your ships effectively without crewmen. That makes sense. So uh, we need more crew than just us. Um, right now, we're we're just this mining drone. I, are we a drone? Are we a captain? I don't know. You can hire a captain. So... I don't really know how that works, but, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, so we want to move closer to a station so that we can hire some crew from there. Now, depending on what we want our ship to do, uh, we need different crewmen, and, uh, and so that becomes important. Now, this looks like a shipyard, so I think we should head here first. You can hold the space bar to get a little extra boost. Um, you can see we're at 300 meters per second. If I let go of the space bar, we drop down to our max speed of 75. So definitely we want to boost. Now as we get closer to this station, of course we can press F, F to interact, but we also have these two docks on either end. 
Now, I'm going to fly near the docks because we want to not necessarily dock to the station, but uh, you do have to be docked to by crew. So I want to be close enough that we can dock once we get our ship going. So we're not going to build a real fancy ship right at first. Uh, we're just going to build something with a little bit more efficiency than this miner has. Um, if we hit I, this is our inventory, right? So you can see in the top left are resources. And as far as I can tell, these don't actually take any cargo hold. Um, so that's good. This is fleet information. We can have an entire fleet if we so choose. Uh, but that comes way, way later. Um, we also have an inventory in which we have been given a few things. We're given a chain gun turret and a mining turret. We're going to be using both of those. Um, it's hard to pirate ships if you don't have a chain gun. And uh, you guys know me. We're totally going to be pirates, right? <laughs> uh, we're probably not going to start out as a pirate. That's that's a hard life. And I don't know that we're going to be able to get enough resources um, to be able to do such things. Now, we just did a tiny bit of mining. But if you are the kind of person that really, really loathes mining in games uh, for some reason, you can, from any space station, hit F and interact with the station. And you can actually uh, buy and sell goods as well. Uh, from here. So we've got a sell goods option, we've got a build ship option. So we can like import a ship from Steam and build it as well. Um, we can build a ship. There's actually the ship that lets us build. Um, if we buy this, it costs this much stuff. I don't know. <laughs> Eight, 88 iron and 500 bucks. That's actually not too bad, and that's a pretty cool looking ship, but we're gonna make our own. So you can buy a ship from here. Um, I guess only some stations you can buy materials from, but I promise you can do that. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's release our mouse with the left shift, and um, we're gonna click found ship. Now it costs us 500 iron to found our ship. We've got 2600, so that's no problem. Um, we're gonna name our ship. This is our first ship. Let's just call it. Let's call it the barbell because of the shape it's gonna be. Cool, so here's our first ship. Uh, very impressive. Now we're pretty close to this block. I can't really see very well. We're at like a weird angle. So I'm going to scroll out with my mouse. And if you hold left alt, then you can use the mouse to adjust the camera angle. You can go up and down. If you double tap alt, you can go left and right. And uh, yeah, so you can get the camera angle set exactly where you want. So if, let's say you have an asymmetric ship, you know, and like, like you're flying a Millennium Falcon. And you want your sh your camera to be over the cockpit instead of over the center of the ship. You can totally do that, and that's pretty rad. Okay, so we've got this uh, we've got this block. It has no thrusters. It has no crew quarters. It has basically nothing. We cannot move. We cannot really do anything uh, with just this. So we need to put some things on it. So let's hit B. This takes us into the build mode, and I actually have put ourselves in a very terrible spot. <laughs> But uh, let's do this. Let's let's just real quickly add some things to it, and uh, we'll we'll move our ship so we can we can actually build some stuff. Um, there are a couple of things we want to look at first, though. Um, in our build mode, you can see over here on the right hand side, these are your stats. Um, things that are in red are of dire consequence. Things that are in yellow should be taken into consideration, but uh, but are still completely functional. Um, so. For example, if you had enough ship thrust to move your ship, but not enough to move it relatively quickly, it would be yellow. Whereas if you had no thrust at all, such as our yaw and pitch and roll, uh, it's red. So that's a that's a thing. Um, to build the ships, um, it works pretty similarly to StarMade, except that you can change the size of your blocks. So with StarMade, you have cubes and wedges and other sizes, but they're all based on the block. Um, in this game, you use W, A, S, and D to uh, adjust the sizes of your blocks, and so they're not always square necessarily. So, for example, if I hold A, that gives me the left side of the block, and I can squeeze it, I can stretch it, I can make it whatever shape I want. As far as, uh, it's still always relatively a rectangular prism there. The same with W, scales the entire block. Um, D is along the z-axis. And S is the Y axis. So you can change all of your um, ship scales and sizes that way. Um, let's look at the block types real quick. 
So there are various block types. Um, we've got different kinds of like armor and hull and stuff. And you've got different like wedges, triangles, corners, wet, you know, heptas, the same kind of stuff, same kind of shapes we have in Star Made, as well as a, as a few other important blocks. Um, subspace signals are getting stronger. I don't know what that means. So uh, we need engines and we need thrusters. That's these things. So you have a directional thruster, and you have an uh, uh, just the regular iron thruster. Um, so you need both of these, as far as I can tell. Um, these let you move left, right, up, and down, and these are for forward and backward. Now these also do forward and backward, so maybe you don't need these at all, and I'm misunderstanding that, but there are two different kinds. Um, we've got some other pieces, some framework pieces and stuff. Now when we move to titanium, uh, that gives us some extra things here, such as like an energy container, a battery, um, an integrity field generator, that's like a shield. Um, when we move on to the next one, neonite, that gives us even more options. Um, there's an actual shield generator. Um, the next tier is tritium, and that gives us some more stuff, and xanion, um, ogonite. And then finally, Avorion is the best, where you can get, like, hangers and stuff. Um, actually, I think the hangers are introduced here in the yellow. No, in the blue. So, But it doesn't really matter, because we're not nearly close enough uh, to getting those things yet. For now, we're just building a basic ship. Our goal here, by the way, is just to get a ship that's slightly better than the, than the mining drone, so that we can mine a few more resources. So let's just stick a thruster on it. Um, now we're also going to need some crew quarters. Uh, we, we've got to have crew quarters. So let's kind of do something like... Like this could be cool. Let's see, our name is Barbell. So let's kind of keep that in mind. So that's going to give us two crew. Let's, let's make sure we have the room for three crew, I think. You can click on a block and set your focus on it with F. So if we're like have our mouse on this, we hit F, then we refocus the... The focus of our of our camera, um, you know, to that block. All right, uh, let's throw some of these thrusters on the sides real quick. Now these can go pretty much anywhere, and uh, it's based on like surface area, how how powerful um, and uh, and relatively strong they are. Now we don't necessarily need anything amazing for this ship, so let's put something like that. Um, okay, so that'll work. But there's also symmetry, actually. So let's do let's do a symmetry plane. We're gonna control Z to undo that and um, and place it back again, so that now we can have it on both sides. So now our ship can move. Let's hit B to get out of build mode, and now we can move away <laughs> from this dock a little bit. All right, so we don't have anything really fancy yet, and I've got a couple of more kind of things we need to add on to this ship. Um, but it's a start. So let's let's give ourselves a little bit more room to work with and uh, go back into build mode. Now I kind of want to put a cap on the front of this, something to work off of. And uh, I think it would be good to use maybe another functional block instead of just a piece of hull. So here's this inertial dampener, which uh, kind of prevents us from drifting as much. That's what I was talking about with the inertia thing. There's also this gyro, which helps us with rotation speed. I'll check it out. There's a space battle happening in the background. That's really cool. Um, I think we use the inertial dampener for this. So let's uh, let's just make ourselves a like a face plate kind of thing, kind of like this. It doesn't have to be big. I want it to be actually about the same size as this cube. So uh, I think we're right there. So let's do it like that. Yeah, that's. That's cool looking, actually. That's, that's pretty cool. Okay, are we relatively centered? I think we're pretty much centered. You can change the grid to center on the block middle. And uh, and so that, you know, is a little bit easier to snap your points in place um, if we need to do that. Okay, I think we need a few more of these directional thrusters while we're at it. So let's put some on the sides of the front here. And I just want these to be a little bit, a little bit fancier. So like that, uh, I want my symmetry though, so let's turn that on. Uh, we can actually have one on the front, that's fine. No, I don't want one on the front yet. Uh, let's do this, 
And then let's throw one of these gyro guys on the very front, I think. Like this is like a nose cone. Just a really silly looking nose cone. Um, but you'll see why we want that in a moment. So that'll be nice. Now another thing we can add is a cargo hold. We can add a cargo, it's called a cargo bay. Um, now we don't really need the cargo bays, so to speak, right at the start. Um, really, you get cargo by destroying enemy ships, and uh, it counts as stealing it, and uh, we really can't withstand any combat at the moment whatsoever, so we probably shouldn't do that. But, we may as well add a cargo hold, you know, for, for later. Um, so, I want to add some iron frameworks. These are like scaffolding units. And uh, I want to put them here, but I, I think these are too big. This is too big for what we want. So let's adjust that. Now, we can't really make our boxes smaller than this um, without adjusting the scale. So we can actually change the size of the grid our blocks snap to, as well as the steps of the scale of the blocks, right? So that's as small as they get right now. But if, let's say, we lower this to 0.25, then we can make them half the size, which is more what we want. Now I want these to snap in about the middle of where they're snapping now, so we need to drop this as well. So let's put this down to 0.25, and now we have more options for snapping. Now that's still not quite where I want it, so let's drop it out to 0.1. And uh, there we go. Now we've got tons and tons of snapping options. Okay, um, I want these to extend the whole way, the whole length, of the uh, of the ship here. So let's stick these guys here and I'm gonna stick a set here as well. And uh, I think that's cool. That's a, that's a cool little detail. Um, okay, so next we want to add our cargo holds, our cargo bays. Now these are based on volume, not on surface area. So the bigger they are, the better they are, the more effective they are. This actually does um, it, it's not like a linear thing either, so if we have like like a one by one block of cargo, um, it it adds. Oh, let's see if I can convince it to give us actually some cargo. Okay, so there we go. So this size adds uh, fifteen point eight, whereas if we make it smaller. Um, this size is actually too small to add anything, <laughs> but uh, we want to. We definitely want to add some cargo. I think. Um, let's just put a couple of blo of boxes. Now that's going to add us 10 like units of cargo. Um, I want it to snap here. Actually, I want it to be about this big. I want it to snap here, but I want it to snap on the truss work that we made, not actually on the main ship. So how are we going to accomplish that? Well, let's 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 put one down first. Now we're going to pick that back up in a second because that's not where we want it. But what we do want to what we do want is to kind of extend this area um, so that we can snap something to it. So we're just going to take this block and stick it right here. Now we may need to change our grids, our snapping scale back down. Uh, what was it at? 0.25 I think? So that we can get it right on like the same distance away from the body of the ship as the trusses are. Is that close? That's not exactly it. Let's drop this down a little bit farther then so we can get there. And... Ooh, we're still not making it, aren't we? Okay, what we can do then is let's select this and delete it. We don't want that there. Um, let's, let's, let's just put it from here. We'll need to change the grid size, I guess. And so that will be in line. Now if we basically extend this, we want that to be the middle of where the cargo blocks are, right? So we can basically extend this the whole way. And then use that as a, almost as truss work, as like a temporary block. Um, so that we can place these blocks. Let's control C to copy. And then we're going to delete it. And so now if we select the cargo bay, oh, never mind. let's try this again, <laughs> select this, copy, 
copy. Hey, hi. V to paste. Ah, you gotta paste it. That would make sense. Okay, so we paste that, and uh, now we can paste it kind of where we want. If we set this to the block middle, then that will kind of give us a better kind of attach point on uh, on this guy. So that'll give us our middle block. Yeah, it's kind of sticking into the truss work a little bit, but that's fine. Um, okay, but I want to go back to the local grid so that we can attach these other guys as well. Kind of like this. And we'll put one here. And so now we've got ourselves some cargo. It doesn't look very much like a barbell anymore, does it? Okay, so there are a couple of other things you can do to ships. Uh, a little bit of detailing, a little bit of painting and stuff. So I'm going to do that and finish up this ship real quick. And uh, when I come back, we'll talk about crew. Okay, I know I said uh, I was going to do the detail work and then we were talking about crews, but I wanted to show you this other thing first. So, uh, of course, we're going to add a sail to the ship. I'm going to show you that, um, how to do the wedges and things. And uh, I wanted to show you about this uh, kind of copy-paste mechanic as well. So there is a copy-paste mechanic in this um, so that you can reuse your assets. So with your tools over here, um, you have a select blocks. You have a select blocks by drawing a frame as well. So like if you wanted to select several blocks, you know, you could just draw a square around it. I find it easier to select the blocks individually and click on them. You just click on them and it selects whatever blocks you want. Um, that way you don't accidentally grab the wrong blocks. So I'm going to select this cargo um, hold module that I made. I'm going to do control C to copy it. Now if we hit our show building inventory, we actually have this little bit down here that has some prefab structures in it. If we find an empty spot, we can hit control V there. And that gives us our thing that we literally just, uh, that we just copied. So now we can paste it wherever we want. So let's turn our mirror back on. And now we can actually select all of these things and delete them. And now if we go into our, our thing, we can paste our, our cargo guy that we just designed that's got a little bit more detail. It's a little bit cooler. So now we can paste these in, in the place we want them. Come on, buddy. I know you want to paste for me. And does that look about even? It's close enough. It doesn't have to be perfect. So, okay. So there's that. Now I want to make a sail as well um, in... In StarMade, our sails are this, like, pretty yellow color, and they kind of glow. Now, we also have this iron glow wedge, um, edge, I guess. It's whatever. Um, but that lets us have a glowy block, and I think we can paint these. Let's try and make it a yellow color and see. I don't know if this is going to work, <laughs> but let's, uh, let's try and find out. So, let's here we go. So now if we make this edge, let's turn off the mirror for now. We want it to be tall, like this. Actually, here's what we really need to do. Um, this is not rotated properly, so if we hold R, we can rotate it to whatever shape we want. And I think that's really what we're looking for. So now let's try and get this the shape we want. Aha, that's upside down, isn't it? Let's hold R again and rotate this. Now there's not a way, as I can tell, to rotate it in the opposite direction. Um, only You can only rotate it in one direction. You just have to go around until you get back to where you want. So that's, uh, that's how you do the rotations. We're going to make a sail here real quick. And it should be yellow. It is yellow, but it's not the glow block. So let's undo that and see if we can make it yellow out of the glow block instead. Glowing yellow sails, you know. Okay, it is slightly a slightly different width than the mast. So, let's see. Can we snap this to block a middle? There we go. That's much better. Wow, that's really glowy! <laughs> okay, I mean, that's what we wanted, I guess. Okay, that's that's pretty amazing, actually. I'm going to add in the rest of the sails. Oh, let's paint. Let's talk about paint first. Oh, jeez, we're being shot. Let's get out of here. Why are they shooting at me? Oh, no! We're being shot! 
Let's get out of here. <laughs> we have no crew. We can't steer very effectively because uh, we have no crew. So this is a bad situation. We got attacked by pirates right off the bat. Okay, let's fix our camera so that we're not in this weird funky camera thing. And uh, we'll go to this other station. Wow, okay. Shot by pirates right as we're trying to trying to teach you guys how to build stuff. And here we are getting blasted. I don't appreciate that very much. <laughs> okay, whew. <laughs> Let's dock up to this station. And uh, hopefully we're far enough away from the pirates now. Yeah, they're not chasing us. They're fighting that guy. So I think we're going to be okay. Oh my gosh, that was ridiculous. Oh, that was ridiculous. Okay, well, we lost our sail. <laughs> so, and we lost our mast on the bottom. So, uh, maybe we don't do the sail? No, we gotta do the sail. We gotta do the sail. Um, we were gonna talk about paint. Let me get closer. Oh, I can't slow down. I have no reverse thrust anymore. Alright, so that's kind of a thing. <laughs> I guess. Let's turn around so we can stop. There we go. Alright, now if we go into building mode, let's talk about paint. So now you can select the paint color like we did before with the sail and um, and choose the paint right off the bat. But if you make your, your cargo boxes, for example, and you want to paint them red, you, you can click the choose colors option, pick your color, let's just, let's make them red. Actually, let's make them orange. Star chocolate, sure. Um, and then you click on the box. Now that just selected it because we didn't actually have a tool selected. But if we click the paint blocks, then uh, then that will paint them. Let's mirror this real quick. Please. Why do you need paint? Can I edit a damaged ship? Oh, okay, so we need to repair our ship first. This is going to take 500 credits and 200 iron. We got that, so let's go ahead and do it. And that actually gave us our pieces back. Um, so that's pretty phenomenal. Okay, now can we paint? Yes, now we can paint. So now our ship, we've got these orange cargo blocks, and we should paint the rest of it too, but I don't know if I like that sail. It's kind of bright, isn't it? Okay, I'm going to do some painting. I'll show you guys uh, the ship. The oranges may be better. Anyway, I'm going to play with this, and uh, we'll show you the ship when we finish. Then we can talk about crew. <laughs> There's a lot to this game. All right, so here's our ship. Uh, it looks pretty cool. Um, not bad for our very first ship <laughs> in this game, uh, in my opinion. So uh, I did turn off the bloom. I felt like the bloom was a little over the top on the sails. Let me know, though, if you like the bloom, and uh, we can turn it back on. I just, um, I'm going to leave it off for the rest of the video. It was starting to be weird in my eyes or something. It was almost like it was too much something or other. Um, anyway, our ship is very nearly ready for uh, us to use, but we need some more features. So we're in the building mode. If we hit this plus down here, then we have these other options. We can do a double chain gun turret. We can do double iron mining turrets. For now, we're going to add the mining turrets. We want to put these on the nodes of our ship. Well, I know we made this protrusion for a reason. It's for these mining turrets. So there we go. So now we've got our two mining turrets on the front. And, uh, oh look, there is a mobile turret merchant here. He'll be here for 15 minutes, so maybe we could go check him out. Um, I'm good for now, though. We need to get some more, some more work done. Now, if we try and add these chain gun turrets, I feel like this would be a good spot. It only added one. Why did it do that? We only support one of these turrets right now. We would have to upgrade our ship with a... a a military turret card, I think, to uh, to actually add another one. So since we can't add that, let's select the turret. Um, you would you choose the select tool, and you actually have the middle mouse click on it, and then we just delete it, and that uh, that puts it back in our inventory, so we can use it again and and put it elsewhere. Now since we only get one, let's just put it in the center of our ship. Maybe we put it right here. So that's still kind of in the front and uh, and usable that way. All right, cool. So now that we got turrets, we can hit B and leave our build mode. Let's adjust this camera so we can actually kind of tell what's going on maybe a little bit. <laughs> that would be useful. All right, so now we're we're centered on the ship. We can steer and stuff. 
The next thing we want to do is assign the turret groups. So now we hit P. This opens our ship menu. We can actually take a look at our ship from here. We can kind of zoom in. We can look at things. Ooh, so looking at things. Okay, so <laughs> now you, uh, to assign your turret groups, you click on the turret and then you push a number. So we're going to have the offensive turrets on one and the mining turrets are both going to be assigned to two. So now if we hit one, we can enable, or two, we can enable or disable uh, the sets of turrets. Um, I'm going to leave them both off for until we need them. Okay, let's hire some crew finally. We're going to need to select this station. Hi, hey, hi. Select the station. We're selecting our own ship. So maybe we raise our camera a little bit so that that doesn't happen. It still is happening. Uh, select the station, please. Thank you. Okay. Now if we look at a dock, we can get close to the dock and we press F. And this lets us hire crew. So we can hit hire crew. Now uh, what crewmen do we need? Well, we have no crew. We don't have enough men for turrets. We don't have enough men for drills. And we have no mechanics. How many of each of those do we need? We can find out in the ship menu. So you can click up here or you can hit P to pull up the ship menu. And let's click on our crew tab. Now this tells us that we need two gunners. So there's one gunner, there's two gunners. Now, because we're hiring actually gunners instead of just regular crewmen, they're worth more. So as you can see, we only hired two people, but we have three out of two gunners. Um, because the gunners are each worth, and because they're specifically trained to be gunners, they're worth one and a half crewmen crew members in that station. If we assigned our two gunners to being miners, they'd only be worth one crewman, but because they're gunners, and they're assigned as gunners, that's a good thing. Okay, so miners. We need four miners. So let's hire four miners. Gosh, I hope we're going to have enough money to hire all this crew. <laughs> we're going to need a mechanic. Now, I don't see any mechanics that we can hire from here, so we're just going to hire a regular crewman to be our mechanic. And uh, he got auto-assigned to being the mechanic, and now we have crew! Fantastic! Marvelous, wonderful. Alright, so now our ship will perform significantly better. Now we can use our guns and stuff. Oh, just in time for pirates. Let's look at this guy. Man, we... We may have to be pirates. These guys are crazy aggressive in this in this area. Okay, let's let's fly over here. I see some more asteroids for mining. Um, I'm going to collect some more resources and uh, see what you guys think about this game. If you like the video, let me know in the comments. Leave a like. That really helps me out. Um, if you want to see more of Orion, make sure, you know, you leave us those, those like... Why do I keep selecting my ship? I hate that. Select the asteroid, please. Thank you. Jeez. Um, if you like the video, yeah, let me know. And uh, until next time, guys, stay tuned.